So I just had an idea for a cool new talk show. And the title of the show is Things That Only DJs Care About. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to well, go around the room. You, thank you very much. We're going to go around the room and we're going to mention just one thing that only other DJs care about. Your guests and your clients don't care about this stuff, but other DJs do. And they'll tell you about it on social media. No, I'd like you to go first. Well, Things I'm, only DJs care about. I'm going to steal the obvious one. Subwoofers. Explain. Uh, prior to getting my Evolve 50s in 2018, I DJed for 20 years without using <clears throat> a subwoofer. And it was fine. And, and Yeah. Nobody, no client ever said, oh man, Not enough bass. had some bass. And yeah. the, the sky didn't fall? Yeah. I used two EVSX wow. 300s and one EVSX 500. And the 500 sat on the floor. I kept it covered up most of the time. So people didn't really see it. But they could definitely hear it and feel it. Mr. Cowley, we're recording this right now. Good. Name one thing that only other DJs care about. We'll get back to you. Jay, yeah. I, I, I don't know what was said. <laughs> Things I, I, only I other DJs care about. Um, all day long, lighting. Explain. Lighting. Well, I think there's now much more than before in the past as far as what we use when we, the vertigo days and all that suddenly became you can't use dots. You have to use moving heads. They've got to be these huge Chave American DJ elation moving heads. No. You got to have them on trussing. You got to wrap the truss. No, nobody wants you to be the center of attention. That's why the bride and groom are there or the birthday girl or the whatever. They're the center of attention. Lighting is great to accent. But if you go out in front of your lighting to quote the great Brian S. Red, take a look. Does it look like a train coming down a tunnel? Then maybe the lighting isn't right. But don't shame other DJs because they don't use the same lights as you. Howie, things only other DJs care about is the topic. Well, because you already stole my first answer, I'll go with my second choice. And that is going to be the brand of your laptop. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is some people believe that if you have a lit up Apple on that, that means you must be very good because you can't possibly put out a good product the PC. with a PC. Of course. How That's can, true though. How can that happen? That's sort of, that is sort of true though. Mr. Kelly, we'll go back to you now. Things okay. only other DJs care about, and no one else will. Your clients won't, your guests won't, but other DJs on social media will care about these things. Name one thing. Be the, the size of the sound system you bring to perform at a show. Explain. Come in with something that is pro-grade, but is small and doesn't look like it can do the capacity of the room. And they're like, oh, you should have brought bigger mm -hmm. speakers. It's just going to be 200 people here. Look at those tiny little things. Mm -hmm. A DJ will care, but if it sounds great, the people in the crowd won't care. I'm going to go with uh, obsessive cable management. If you've ever seen a band play at a wedding, at a bar, anywhere, it doesn't matter where, even on television, you're going to see some cables. Yeah. If you see right. cable, it's not going to ruin anyone's night. Nope. Yes. You should always do your best to make your setup look neat and clean. But to be obsessive if, compulsive about it is a DJ hangup. Impossible. Hang up. Yes. It's As a, a matter DJ of fact, hang up. We had we we had a little catchphrase joke a couple of years ago. Remember, Brian? Like, oh man, you look like a band if you didn't have proper <laughs> cable management. And that was our little inside joke. You looked like a band. Well, look at every club, every festival. I mean, I deal right. with this at shows. The cable, and, and I always comment, like, what nobody, a rat's nest on stage. Cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No. Except for the girls dancing. Can I add to this? Of course. Wait. If you got a good one, if you screw yeah. up my show, and, we got problems. And, and do, and I'm not going to screw your don't show. Don't forget Eric. All right. Hey, he's from Eric. where Mickey Ward is. Don't give him a hard time. Right. I'll stop it. Well, 
Eric, you know, you're not on camera, so that's you're okay. Not... He's the voice. Right. Go ahead, Eric. What do you got? Kurt? I'm, I'm the faceless man. I, I'm going to go with either A, appearance, or two, MP3 quality. Only other DJs really care about that, I think. Yeah, I'm about sound quality. Mm. Yeah, I'm about that. I'm about, I'm about sound quality. Yeah. That's a and, and turn your back and tell me the 192 from the 320. I can. And you're not going to know. I can. Yeah. I can. Ah. Especially on a PA. But the question is, will you guess no? See, I asked you not to screw my show up, and you did it. So. I told you, from where Mickey Ward is. (laughs) You'll get Dickie Eklund on you. Be careful. You got another one? I get him. Me? Yeah, you got another one? Things only. You are the artist known as Bill. You forgot Eric. Eric isn't listening. Eric's off in La La Land figuring he's out how to screw it. lighting yeah. up for another Olympics event. Oh, no, he's doing contracts. Something. Oh, yeah, because I'm the a lighting designer, right? Oh, I get it. Thanks, Jay. No, oh. I'm saying, it, who hung that one light, that blinder? Well, it just bothers me. Those poor kids will go through their entire Olympic career getting gold medals going, but if the lighting was wrong. Bill's got a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, we I'll hated say, that I'll drone shot. <laughs> I'm sorry I screwed your show up, Brian. You did screw it up, Eric. You Bill still got a good one. It, it, you know, it's, it, but it's worth waiting for. It is. Anybody it else? Is. Wanna... Always, yeah. always. So, Howie already hit on brand, uh-huh. um, but I'll go a step further. Just brand and equipment. Period. Um, somebody recently uh, critiqued visually my. Uh, ceremony setup. It's all Pioneer, right? N- no. My <laughs> ceremony oh, setup. Sh- well, hey, what did you expect, <laughs> kid? What'd you expect? My my current ceremony setup is a uh, Gemini all in Block room. him! Block him! <laughs> what? Now you ruined Jay's show. <laughs> oh my god. No, you're just kidding now, right? About the Gemini. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my no, no, really, is it a joke? To drive a Model T to the wedding? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> is that because of realistic? <laughs> and and all and all because you're all DJs. You all right. exactly. See? Hey, whatever works. Honestly, the the system that I spent yeah. six years using a mixer that had an RCA output doing wedding ceremonies. You know what? Not one of those ceremonies ever said. In fact, one of them celebrated their 10th over the weekend. I commented and said, yeah, I remember your wedding well, blah, 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 blah. They were like, you were the best DJ. She didn't say, oh, we have great memories of the wedding, except the sound quality for the ceremony because you used RCA to quarter inch. Wait a minute. Eat. Hold on a second. What you're trying to tell me is you used RCA outputs for a ceremony system for yes. a couple, 10 years ago, and they're still married today? Oh, yeah. Beautiful oh little daughter gosh. they just had. Oh, yeah. I my couples stay they, together. I would have thought they'd be divorced by now. For nope. sure. my, couples, my couples stay together. I, my couples all have one thing in common. If they have children, the kids are beautiful, and they're a happy couple. That's what you get when you hire brand and entertainment. Gear, and they name them after your gear, right? Red well, <laughs> I'm just saying, both kids have a DJM and a CDJ in their name, so you figure it out. <laughs> Mr. Kelly, do you have another one for us? Things only other DJs care about. Oh, probably. After Bill's amateur comment, please save us. No, just the uh, just the overall look of the, of the lighting behind you, because people come in and want a club and they want to see Tress and this and that. I've got stuff on T-bars and stands. Once the lights go out, it looks awesome. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. Nobody no. cares. No. Does anyone else have anything else to add? Because there's tons of things that only other DJs care about. I, I honestly, I get a lot of, I get blowback because I don't use a facade or a custom counter. <laughs> I do. I get people. What do you like, mean you're not Man. doing what I do? You're wrong. Yeah. Why aren't you using a facade? I'm like, well, because I want them to see me work. Right. Well, you're using a six foot table. That's like archaic. Why would you do that? I'm like, because that's where the gear goes. Right. Like, where do you want the gear to go? Well, I use a, I know. you know, fill in name, $1,800, $2,000 counter. I'm like, I have four we- weddings next week. How many do you have? One. <laughs> well, well, apparently yeah. guys with counters don't get as many weddings as guys with tables. I don't know I'm, what to tell you. I'm agreeing That's going to get comments. You, that's going to get comments. With you. A six foot table for a guy that's six foot four and you have to lean over all night. It's perfect. You got to, you got to, you got to put stuff underneath there. 
Yeah, I know. Bottom I'm line just... is we all have our own brand. Exactly. We all do, yeah, you know. Look at Eric save the show. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Trying to went, from a, went from a bad first pitch to a strikeout. Nice. Yeah. A right. couple of phone books. One phone book yeah, under each. He Lager opens with the sound thing. quality. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I know, really. <laughs> you got the sound Stop. gurus Stop. on the show here tonight. <laughs> I can tell when this is a one. I, and you know what's sad is Pulse of all people. Yeah. We drove some. We drove to Vegas from my house for the Mobile Beat show years ago, and I put in a CD. And he took it out. He goes, this is crap. I go, what do you mean? And he threw it out the window of the car in the 15. Yes, I'm like, yes, what are you doing? Like him, he right? goes, these are, like these are terrible. You hear the compression? I'm like, no. <laughs> it's Dead Mouse. What compression am I listening to? And he threw it out the window. That part I love. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. He's, he won't stand for bad sound. He's worse than Brian about it. Oh, let's, my God. Let's see. Okay, Aaron, we're recording this right now. It's going to go on my channel. And if you want to turn your mic on and you want to contribute to this, you turn may. Turn your camera on, too, Aaron, if you can. You, you, you may do that. Uh, He's we'll, in Canada. We'll, His will be stuff like DJs yeah. that don't play enough Rush at a wedding or something. The, the, <laughs> the topic is, Aaron, things that only other DJs care about, your clients and your guests totally don't care. What can you think of? Oh. oh, man, that's a big list. Yeah, uh, give us something. Well, yours. I mean, uh, if you don't have subwoofers underneath your tops, if you didn't bring a certain brand of lighting, uh, like, like that's a big one. Oh, what kind of lights are you using? Does it mm. matter? They look good. Right. Although, if they're not wireless, mm -hmm. battery-powered, uh, super fancy pad speaker right light. i mean the brand name brand name stuff if you have stuff that works really well that might not be like the most expensive if it's not base boss it's not good enough or if it's not pk it's not the best you know what i mean by the yeah. way aaron is not only in canada but he's in a hole in the ground yes. in canada yeah. so forgive us yeah. staying yeah. warm it's like 13 below zero right now in canada something like that it's, it's, it's warmer underground which is just not the way it is you know what brian he brings up a point about sound that i just dawned on me i did a wedding saturday cup was thrilled with the ceremony i used a single microphone handheld wireless on a stand between the officiant and the bride and groom yeah and then at the end of it I instructed the officiant. I said, what's your plan? He goes, well, when I tell him to kiss, I'm going to move out of the way. I go, would you mind carrying the mic stand over with you? He goes, no, not at all. And then I can use the mic to announce their name. I go, that's great. I said, if you want to do me one big favor, could you bring the mic to me in the back so I can then announce to have the immediate family remain for photos and the rest of the guests make their way <laughs> over for cocktail? He did it perfectly. And I was like, Bingo. Now, there are other events I work where I'm demanded to have two wireless lavaliers. And even in a windy condition, I'll say, man, a single handheld with a windscreen won't pick up the it's wind. A the it's a lot more it's forgiving. It's a lot more forgiving. It's a lot more. And if you drop it, I used to do rooftop weddings in San Diego for 12 years. And the one venue I worked, I only used one mic at every mm -hmm. single wedding, yeah. roughly 30 to 45 a year. And it worked flawlessly. Well, I'm not worried I, about I, signals. I, I will else. throw this out there because it'll be in the comment section of my video. I think I'm confident it will actually. Uh, I'm you sure need a will. dedicated announcement mic for you at your ceremonies. Yes, that way you don't have to worry about him bringing it back. Yep, yep. No, no, no. And I and I understand that. Yeah. And I could have plugged one in because I have two channels on the controller. No, you totally normally, should. No, no, no. And normally, what I do is I unplug one of the lobs and plug in my handheld at the end of the ceremony, and I make that same announcement cool, from cool. the booth. So I am I am prepared on that. Right and on. by the way, a quick tip. I'm a DJ, only I care about that. So. Right. I'm, and <laughs> for those of you that get people constantly asking to grab the wireless handheld, once I'm done with toasts and I get to the main system for dancing, the wireless handheld is put away, and I work off an SM58 wired with a three-foot cable, because mm -hmm. anytime someone runs up with like, dude, give me the mic. I'm going to rap this Bust a Move song. I always go, Let the cable's like a foot long. Oh, damn. Okay. And it's going to stop you because you're getting off topic. But thank you for that. True. True. I'm just giving a nugget. Anyone else besides Jay have anything else to add before we wrap this? I've said my piece. I've said my piece. There's more. 
as Aaron oh, said, yeah, the lot. list is yeah, long. And I, I want to thank you because that was going to be next week's topic. But once yeah. again, you've stolen from Howie. <laughs> yeah, I'm every time kidding. I do something, I'm stealing from Howie. How is this possible? I'm How is kidding. this possible? How is this I had po- chicken well, tonight. But, you stole it. I was going to have chicken every wait, time. Wait, wait. I did have chicken. I'm not kidding. It was on the yeah, list. like I can read your old what name. chicken or that show to do about what bothers other DJs. No, <laughs> I, I'll I'll have the beef uh, short ribs, please, instead. Well, thank yeah. you guys for participating. If you like this, let us know in the comment section. We may do more of these. Might make it a weekly tradition. We'll call it the after show. The after after. There show. we go. I'll put it on my channel, so we'll be like cross branding. Pretty cool. Yeah. Huh? After, after show. Yes. All right, kids. Thank you very much. If you've got something only other DJs care about, you want to let us know what those things are, put them in the comment section. Maybe we'll discuss them on a future show. That's it. Yeah. Practice yeah. and enjoy. Good night. Good night, Brett.